and welcome back to Slice and Dice featuring greens and uh, rare team comps. Obviously unfair as usual. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty upset at myself for losing the last run, but it is what it is. It happens at this point. I should I should be like taking the losses a little bit less hard, honestly. At this point, I'm definitely I've definitely lost that like super try hard kind of uh, mentality about the game. Now I'm just kind of you know just playing, trying to have fun. And uh, it is what it is, right? It happens. Still trying to improve, but I'm not gonna like spend like 30 minutes on a single decision anymore, which I used to. I mean, I haven't been doing that in a while, honestly. So, latent, we got latent, which is three poison, three regen. So, if you cleanse it, you're in a great spot. Could be good. Slow spells is hard. Boss curse three is hard. Monster rights, very hard. Vigil is. Jesus. That is insane. <laughs> Vigil is unplayable, I think. That's cool. Um, Fury rolls. Okay, this is probably unplayable. Infinite Chalice is hard to slot in usually because it's six. It costs a lot of um, a lot of curse points. A little bit difficult. Tunnel Vision 1 is takeable. Parasite is takeable. So these two are takeable. Uh, I think adding... So the magic comp seems to be relatively slow. So adding a potential high damage unit is probably a bad idea. So I'm not going to take that. I think this is probably a roll. I don't think slow spells is playable. Yeah, this is looking bad. Let's just roll. Defensive? <laughs> okay, well, I've never actually gotten a defensive. Oh, wait, I did try it and I lost immediately, but eh. heavy dice one is very, very, very hard. But I wouldn't say it's unplayable, it's just really hard. If I find a good situation here to take it, I might. No. Shade. Shade and defensive sounds not very fun. Uh. Uh, honestly, it's probably heavy dice. I don't, it's going to be very unfun, but I think in defensive, you just want consistency, and this is not that bad. I've actually never taken this, so I might as well do it. Tunnel Vision 1, I guess. It's not... Otherwise, okay, wait. It's, otherwise, it's a 5, so it'd be... Yeah, I could take blind. I could take perceptive and blind. I do not value Perceptive that high, but I think it's not too bad with that line. Okay, we'll do it. Wait. Wait, now I'm not sure of myself anymore. Can we do this? All right, screw it. I, I gotta try it. I gotta try it. I think Blind is one of the easier things to deal with as a defensive comp, right? So I'm just gonna hope that's true and just commit to it. You can only roll one, so we're probably... I gotta roll this to something else, that's for sure. Okay, that's good. And then... Oh man, heavy dice one is so hard. <laughs> I hate, I hate... No, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's hard, but... I hate it. I despise it. It is so annoying. It is such a frustrating... Oh wait, I could have played that better. I forgot. This targets... Yeah, okay. I, I misplayed. I totally forgot that this targets, so I didn't need to uh, put the shield to focus. So it, it, I missed one. Essentially, I missed one there, which was a big misplay, honestly. So I got to be careful. We can only, only roll one, so we're just going to roll this, probably. La rata, la rata. Okay. I feel like... I don't know, actually, no, it's fine. I was gonna say... No, it's fine, it's fine. I think heavy dice is fine. I think the position it's in is okay. I was gonna complain that it's just annoying to play, but... At this difficulty, annoying is not an argument against a curse. If it's easy, or if it's easier, then it's acceptable, right? Like fun is a 
is a thing to balance, but not when you're playing at very high difficulty. That doesn't matter anymore. Now, at that point, it's just like whatever, whatever makes for interesting modifiers, right? Which that I would say is kind of interesting. Okay, collector is good because it's consistent. Cool. A minus one roll sounds fun. Probably not taking that. Although Scar is really good, but again, it's like too much damage. I, I don't have the defensive capabilities to tank that much. Yikes. That is not good. Although that is... Kinda. Damn, that's a lot of damage. What the fuck? That was mildly insane, actually. That was taking that much damage on turn one, but okay. It's a, it's a really good starting team comp, to be honest. Like, it really is. Let me see what happens here. Go here, 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 here. Here, all this is great. Yeah, I think I was correct. I mean, my assessment of Ad Blind is, is very obvious that it is probably the best case scenario in this team comp, so I think that's obvious. I don't know about Perceptive, which is kind of the X factor here. Whoops. Like, I don't know if that's actually worth it over... Like, basically, we added a blind for Perceptive where, where I could have taken the random stuff. Okay, let's take a look here. So, Leather Vest, I, I think, is relatively good. I think Big Heart is okay. I think Healing One is also okay. Gives me more consistency, which would be good. Place the bottom side with Heal 2, Regen, Cleanse, Mana Cost. What the fuck? Heal 2, Regen... That is so strong. But you do have to spend mana. I mean, it's strong and it's weak, right? It, it's pretty weak for me because I don't have mana consistently and I only have a few rolls, so I don't want to take something like that. Way is pretty good as well. I think number one priority is just adding consistency though, so I'm going to take Healing Wand. Make sure I brick less, essentially. I think that's priority number one. Leather Vest for a rat. Oh my god, this fight is hard. Um, part of me wants it, part of me doesn't want it. But part of me really wants it, so I'm gonna take it. Part of me really wants it. Okay. Yeah, hopefully the blind doesn't screw me. It did. Okay, well, that sucks. Oh my god. Please give me the cleave. Oh, this is not good. I mean, anything's better than that growth side, so... Okay, at least they didn't all attack. That could have been worse, to be honest. To be honest. Could have been worse, could have been worse. What else is the play at this point? Probably just grab that. Or splint? I don't know. Probably alloy is more important. And just bank. Bank the mana. One thing's for sure is I cannot let the seeds actually grow into stuff. Okay, blind, you have to stop and bees killing. Okay, this is just very unlucky, but. I gotta find... Oh man, I am so screwed. Holy shit. I don't think this is enough, right? I have to kill the blind at this point. I think I just gotta accept that this is gonna happen, right? But I guess, again, in this case, I should probably roll, because if I had to cleave, it's probably better. Well, no, it's not, because I- no, no, I have to kill the lion, so what was- what was better there? Where'd the healing go? It went on Squire. Is there an alternate line here? Because I don't- I don't want to use the healing on Squire, I would rather use it here. So it'd be like... 
Like this. No, because then this is dead. No, no, no. Okay. So the only out is this. So I guess I can do that. But then... Okay, so that's it. That was it. That was it after all. That was it after all. Just gotta be this then. I mean, the blind screwed me. It is what it is. And then the B is screwing me over. And then the seed is screwing me over. But at least not two seeds. Okay, if it was two seeds, I would have lost immediately. But at least we have a chance here. I can potentially make it flee. Depending on what it does. Okay, that's good. Just hoping for no eliminate there, obviously. Repel's fine. I mean, these two are fine. This is fine. Obviously, I gotta keep that because I gotta roll this first. Oh man, you've gotta be fucking kidding me. That sucks. Okay, that's one down. Redirected squire can't redirect anymore. Yeah, splints breaking there is a disaster, honestly, because that I would have given so much to roll the collector in that spot, but Okay, here I also have to roll the collector though. I'll say it's cleave. Oh man, come on! Why? Okay, I guess this is gonna have to be enough. Nope, please. I am tilted. I am tilting. I am tilting. This is ridiculous. Why are you rolling this? But I mean, I guess it's not... No, because I, I, I was planning on killing this with a two. <laughs> that was my entire game plan, but now it's like in the trash, essentially. Now I gotta make it flee, if possible. Okay, that should be able to kill it, maybe. Actually, yeah, I can kill it here. Oof, okay, good enough healing. Vampire's good. And I need the damage, so... I don't know, Faye is a decent argument with Collector, and it has more sides. I'm okay with both of these. It mostly depends on if I value the mana generation or not. And I think the thing is, I have to consider blind. And for blind, having access to infuse is massive, like actually massive. So I think I think it's got to be. It also replaces one of my weaker characters, right? Yeah, it replaces one of my weaker characters, which is good. That's bad. That's good. To, I mean, I don't want to use that necessarily, so I think we're gonna. We gotta let the blind flee here, though. I'm not casting this unless it's just mana. Oh, guess I gotta do that. It's gonna be a little bit tricky, I guess. Uh oh. That's the worst possible start for me. Oh, this fight is a nightmare, actually. I just realized. Yeah, I just realized how hard this fight is. With a uh, heavy. I just can't. I can't use that. <laughs> I don't think I can use that. I mean, I could just do it now, which is. But then it copies single use. So no, it's not. It's not correct. I'm in trouble, actually. I think we might lose. I don't really have good size against Bramble, even with Vampire. I mean, I guess the self heal is, but... The poison is really devastating. Okay, at least I can heal. It's not targeting the same unit. That sucks. 
I think I gotta save this repel then. That's better. Do I have the luxury of killing the rat in this position? That is a fantastic question. I think the answer is no. I think the answer is actually no. Oh my god, man. Come on, Bramble. Why are you doing this to me, buddy? Give me a small break, please. Oh my... What? Yeah, this fight is a nightmare. Holy shit, this fight is a nightmare. I think I just gotta do it now. Like, there's no way I can't afford to. Like, I just rolled the worst possible thing, po like, ever, so. I don't know if this is gonna cut it, but it's gonna have to. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't actually single use. Okay, yeah. It doesn't single use the side. I was wondering about that. I mean, I need this to roll too. Okay, that's not, not the end of the world, I guess. Do I want to save Mystic? Probably not. I want to save Alloy here. I mean, it's a, it's the same, but I think the mana doesn't actually matter. No, it doesn't. Whereas the shielding does. Like, this is good, and this is good, and the cantrip's okay. Okay, I think we're good now. Holy moly, that was a nightmare of a fight with heavy dice. I think you can, def you can definitely lose boss fights because of heavy dice. Well, actually, not boss fights. You can lose against Bramble, because once you have blanks, that shit just arms you. Uh... Paint Halo's okay. Origami's okay. Buckler is okay. Terrarium is pretty decent, but I wouldn't say it's like super good. I think the. I think I like the Buckler here. Or Faint Halo, one or the other. I mean, Terrarium's like kind of okay, but we have to consider. Actually, no, it is kind of good. There are a few. Okay, let me let me just double check here. Tier two. There's only medic that doesn't have any right sides that I would. Yeah, I guess enchanter as well. I don't think I would take enchanter. And then on tier three, it doesn't really matter, right? Nobody has like two blanks right side. Yeah, okay. The terrarium would matter there. It would also probably not matter on tier two grays. Okay, it really matters on cleric, but I wouldn't take cleric. A knight, it would be okay. I wouldn't replace that. I would never take that anyways. I wouldn't take that. Okay, so it's not that relevant. Whereas, I think middle shield is actually relevant. Wait, it's actually not. Wait, it's actually not. Unless the reds can use it? No, not a single red wants it. Okay. So both are not very relevant, so I think I might take the faint halo here. But then again, consistency is the name of the game, right? So having a rightmost adds a lot of value. That is true. But I just think this is more impactful. I think max HP is extremely important, so... I'm just gonna assume that that's better. This fight is not fun at all. Please, RNG, please. No, what the fuck? Holy shit. Are you fucking kidding me? What an absolute disaster. My God. I mean, I, I just can't, I can't do damage, so this has to roll, please. Okay, 
Okay, wait, 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 wait. You can save that, gain HP. You can... Wait. You save this. You save this. You save this. Okay, okay, we're alive. Holy shit. I had a freaking heart attack. Whoa, what the fuck? What? <laughs> thank God this rolled a one. And thank God this rolled a one as well. Holy shit. Oh my God, what a terrifying fight. Oh, <laughs> double. Double trouble. Disaster. Double trouble disaster. That sums it up accurately. Absolute nonsense. Wow. That's smacking me in the face for six. Really? Are you serious? Are you for real? Okay, I guess we have to change our plans then. It's going to be... This then, and then... Or like even this, I guess. Probably. That's actually good. Okay. Oh man, I'm having I'm having a potential bad time here. We'll see. We shall see. Warden's good. Consistent character. Monk would be the better option for this though. After for this. So I'm thinking about it, but then again, I have to value consistency over anything. But Monk is the better character, I think, between Ward and... Would be better in this fight as well. Oh, no, 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 wait. Monk is not good against Blind. That's true. In that case, I accept. This fight is an absolute disgusting nonsense as well. Yeah, this fight is terrible. I hate it. I want out. We can, we can. Oh my god. We can. We can. Petrify. I, I don't know. This is a disaster. I think I gotta I gotta roll this, right? I mean he's I have to kill the blind. Wait, no, maybe I don't have to kill the blind. I have I gotta kill some of these illusions though, that's for sure. Please. One time cleave? <gasps> no. Okay, wait, that might be good actually. Let me see. Shit. It's not good enough. So Nope. So it's just the blind. Oh man, this sucks. Maybe it's this then. One weekend. One petrify. Yeah, that's that's a playable. That's a playable spot. That is a playable spot. Wait. Okay, that's fine. I was like, wait, can I save that? I mean, there's some value in this, but it's not as good as either other options I can get from that. Good. Big slam on Squire. To... A little bit scary, but good. Oops. Ew. Okay, whatever. Alright, it's looking okay. It is looking all right. Ritual dagger. Hate it. Self shield one. Hmm. That has a lot of value, actually. That has a lot of value. 
I think it's self shield one against blinds. That's very consistent shielding too. That's very strong, I think. That is very powerful. Also makes militia weaker, which is good. Okay, good. Uh, like okay, I guess. Oh no. Holy yikes. Okay. Please shield. Okay, I guess. I guess not. <laughs> okay, wait, I think I can kill this. No, I can't. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I guess I can't make militia flee, right? But then what I, what else do I do? Isn't it better to just lose Mystic here? Or no, I could pass. That's true. I guess I could pass. Yeah. I think that's okay. I think not losing a character is more valuable than than losing a character potentially, but then saving like really destroying stuff with the other heroes, I guess. So this is weak, doesn't really matter. Let's get some shield. Warden, please. Warden, please. Oh <laughs> no. Fuck. Wait, what? Uh oh, I'm scared. I'm a little bit scared. Just a little bit. Uh, I mean, the healing stick is okay. I think it's, it's acceptable. Uh oh. That might be good enough. Let's see. Yes, sir. I accept. Okay. That's probably good enough. Disciple or pilgrim? Um, hmm. Pilgrim's good. I mean, it has all the sides. All of them are good, so... Okay. Will this save a hero? Hmm. It won't save it with a self shield though. I don't know. I wonder. I feel like it can save a hero. Also, Pilgrim's amazing against blind. I feel like it can save, but it's probably less likely that it saves than Warden, actually. I think that's true. Let's go here. Now, Fnatic is totally fine in a defensive combat, especially if I'm trying to make the blind flee. Oh, man. I mean, I guess this doesn't really have many sides that are better. This does, though. I think I should just lock... I should just try to go for the stun, right? Ew. Nasty. Whatever. Maybe I should have double mana there? No, I don't think so, because Mystic just has to roll single mana and we're good. At least vampires are... An absolute... Wait, what? Uh-oh. I did not realize that the bell dealing damage would cancel that. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's a little bit terrifying. Wait, let me see what happens here. We can go... Uh, 
Oh man. Oh. Fuck. Oh man. That is such a big misplay. I can't believe it. Oh fuck. Uh, I don't know. Losing vampire is like actually a disaster here. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to approach this. I think the stun has to stay, and then I guess this has to roll into shield. And I just don't kill the blind. No, I can stun the blind. This is hitting collector, which is fine. I don't know. It's not fine, but. I don't know. I guess this could roll into nothing. I could kill the imp with the two. But either way, I need to. Sh I need shield, right? So either way, this has to roll shield. Okay, now let me think. So if I go here, here, it's done. Mana. Oh, it's still dead. Wait, there's no way to save it unless I stun the fanatic. Maybe I just have to accept that. Maybe I just have to accept that. Maybe. I can't really afford to stun the fanatic in this spot. Wait. Oh, Bell deals damage to itself. Yeah, okay. I was like, what? Ah, it's fuck. It's so bad. It's actually so bad. I think I just gotta kill the blind. If I kill this and then go here, here. That doesn't even save. Well. Okay, it's, oh, the question is do I wanna lose Collector or do I wanna lose Vampire? I think the answer is probably obvious that I'd want to lose the collector, right? But is there an alternative here? The problem is that Warden bricked. If Warden did not brick, then I could save Vampire, right? Because I just needed one shield. But it bricked, so I need I needed two damage and I needed one shield, but it, it gave me neither, so. Uh that's the problem here. Is there a line I'm just not seeing? I mean, I did misplay really hard. I did not realize the blind was not gonna flee. I thought the blind would flee and then this would deal damage to itself, but no, it's end of turn. I should have checked because if it wasn't blinking, I don't know. I'm not the, this. I'm I'm recording this at the end of the day, so I've already played a bunch of other stuff. Definitely not in the best mindset here to min max, which is unfortunate. But fuck, I'm not exactly. I'm not sure what I should do here. Like, I have one more roll. That's all I have to consider at this point. But I think, so if I stun this, then Collector's dying. Can I kill, the only way to kill Fnatic is if this rolls this. I mean, I think in this case it is better to stun the... Wait. If this rolls shield, no, I, I still can't do anything. Wait, wait, wait. What happens if this, this rolls shield? I stun, I stun this. Oh, but then this is dead, right? Yeah, because I need the mana first. Yeah, no, no, it's it's dead. So it'd be like this. If I roll shield, yeah, I, I would not be able to kill the blind, so. I would have to stun this, which would also kill this, because I need the shield here. So yeah, I guess it, it is what it is, right? I just have to roll Collector at this point. Unless I want to kill the blind. Instead of the Imp. But I think it's better to kill the Imp, because... Uh... 
I don't know. Either way, I can't roll the warden, right? Because it either kills the blind or it kills the... Maybe this rolls a four. That's close, but that's not enough. I think killing the imp is actually better. Pretty sure. Wait, I should use... No, I can't use this. Wait, I guess I just do this and just put this down to two, which will kill it next turn. Man, Vampire Dead is... It might actually be worse than Collector Dying, actually, yeah. But wait, can I save it? Didn't I say I couldn't save it? I can save it if I stun Fanatic, but then... Yeah, actually, I think Vampire Dead, I lose the game, right? Most likely, yeah. Uh, not necessarily, but... Like, stun Fanatic. Kill this. Well, it's either I have two dead or... Okay, mi what about Mystic Dead? How do I feel about that? I actually don't... I don't mind that. I think that's actually, that's the best play. That is the best play. I gotta make sure I kill this next turn though. I think that is the best play. I need Vampire. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, this is dead. I need, I gotta kill that, so. I mean, this can save itself, kind of. Well, there's only one side that saves. Oh, no, actually, no, it can... Repeat? Wait, how do I save this? Uh, I can't, right? Don't I have to keep Big Heart, or do I not? I, I could just... Oh, wait, that is enough. Okay, so that means... That self shield is probably the best. That saves me one HP, which is which is kind of good in this spot. Nothing else saves me HP. It puts them outside of range. So the only thing that's better than this is probably nothing. Yeah, probably nothing. Okay, that's fine. Okay, this is an okay situation, I think, depending on what this rolls. Okay, that's good. Very lucky. Now, obviously, if I could kill it this turn, that would be perfect, but... Very unlikely, unless I hit the four. That's the worst side. Okay. I mean... Might as well do that. <laughs> Alright, we're good, I think. Uh-oh, we're not good. We're good. Holy shit. Uh, that was a really scary boss fight, as always with heavy dice. <laughs> Soup. Damn, that's strong. Uh, yeah, I can see Soup. N0. I think Soup is good. Warden just has even more sustain then. I think that's totally fine. Immune to poison is relatively powerful too. This is interesting. I, I do think we're going to find cleanse though with the defensive, so it shouldn't be a problem. Idol's okay. I think it's probably soup. Right? Being the original piss. Yeah, that's got to be soup. That's, that's pretty strong, right? Makes it e even easier to save stuff. Okay, we are somehow still alive, which is kind of crazy, but my team comp's okay now. So I'm just gonna hope... Yeah, my team comp is quite decent, actually. Yeah, this is a great situation. The pilgrim makes things so much easier. So much easier. My turn one is very, very 
resilient right now. Well, most of the time. It's not that consistent, but... Ew. Why? Yeah, I'll just stick that, whatever. Oh, that's really scary. Holy shit. Uh-oh, Wiz is cooking. Wiz is cooking, and I don't like that. I do not like when Wiz is cooking. That's good. Shit, I gotta kill ghosts. It's too, it's too strong. Does that mean... Okay, wait. Do I have to kill ghosts? I think I do. It's, it's too strong. It's, it's hitting it for too much, right? Yeah. It is. I was thinking maybe I would kill... I can't kill both bones, right? I can't. Okay, so it doesn't matter then. Hmm. That is not... That's not the best situation, actually. A lot of bones. I, I lost a double grave last time, and this is looking... Wow, that sucks. Okay, that's big. Okay, this is quite good. Okay, this is reasonable. Kind of a waste of damage, I feel like, but... I'm just go here. Sure, it doesn't really deal more damage to Wiz, but it's more efficient. I should not have spent that other burst, though. Oh, wait, no. It does mitigate damage, right? Yeah. Good. Very good. Very good. Eh. Sure. Take it. Herbalist. Very good. Consistent unit. Has some regen. Very effective. Zombie is not good, depending on what it rolls. Okay, that's fine. Oh god. Oh, this is... Wait. Wait, this is terrifying. I think I kind of have to lock that, because it, it's probably... Oof. Oh man, this is tough. I might actually have to ignore the blind on this in this turn. Which means I would roll. I gotta kill the bones, right? Yeah, I gotta I gotta kill it. Okay, so we're gonna roll this for damage or mana. Ew. Oh my god, it's so bad. Why? Holy shit, that, that is actually the worst case scenario. That is the worst case. I lost. I lost the game. Well, I guess there's two worst case scenarios, but... I mean, I don't lose, but it's it's a disaster. Oh, the pain, 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 pain. Uh, King Vampire... Uh, this fight is hard too. It might be too hard. We'll see. Not looking good. But Warden is very strong, so as long as Warden hits a soup on Pilgrim at some point, okay, that's not good. Okay, that's good. I, I can't... I guess I can stun. Is this better than most things? Maybe... I mean, I guess stun is is always better, right? At least I can. Oh no, I can't stun. I can't stun the shade. So repeat would still be better. I I don't think this is like that relevant. 
to like keep or not keep. I'm gonna have to brute force through this either way. I mean, I definitely need something, right? It, it's gotta be undying maybe as well. Maybe, I don't know, is that good enough? Wish I could freaking... If I could stun that, that would be good, but... I can't even stun it with plus two damage, right? I guess we can do this, which is somehow not good enough still. Uh, the thing is, I I know for a fact if I lose both characters, I'm dead. So it's just this. I think the cleave is not that good. No, it's not that good. I, I should roll. I'm okay with a stun, I guess. Oh my god, why the fuck did I roll the worst side possible? <laughs> oh no. Fuck. Oh, that, that is actually that is the worst case scenario, but... Actually, no, there... Yeah, maybe the cleave was fine, actually. There was this side, too. There's two sides that are terrible. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, I didn't save it, so it's gonna be like this, probably. Okay, that's not too bad. That's a good... That's a really good turn. I got lucky there. That's very fortunate for me, I guess. That cleave was actually not too bad. Oh, oh my god, that's so big. Collector. Absolute madman. Absolute genius. Giga Chad. Maybe I should roll... I should roll Warden, right, since it has healing. I don't need the damage. Wow, that's great. I can't believe we're stable. This is crazy. Every freaking fight is a disaster, but somehow works out. I think that's better because I get plus one HP. Well, then I lose HP on Collector, but I think it's better. I, I want more even evened out HP for the shade. I gotta hit the shade. So I need the stun, probably. Nice. I don't know, I don't I don't think I care about vampire here. Just gotta kill the shade and make sure Pilgrim doesn't die to poison. This is actually like every fight is so hard. Oops. Cracked wheel's actually kinda good. But I don't know who would I guess collector. Bandana. Oh, bandana is so broken on Pilgrim. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It's, it's so broken, but it's also not that broken because I'd have to roll it. But even like even a singular cast of anything except for this, obviously, is already worth it. So the question is, is it. Is it still cracked wheel? Because cracked wheel, if I get rid of Pilgrim, obviously, is much better. Sticking a, a plus one reroll. But Sticky can be a death sentence, which is kind of a, the problem here is like Sticky is only good on like a damage dealer. Probably you want your defensive units to have like the capability of rolling into their de defensive sides, right? And that's not always the case. So I don't know. This is a tricky one. I like you can view this as basically doubling one of Pilgrim's size. Is that worth it? I think that the answer is yes. I think the answer is yes. I think doubling Pilgrim's side is worth it. I might keep it for the whole game as well. It will definitely stabilize me quite well until the final boss. The final boss might be an issue with this because in that case, I might actually want Cracked Wheel. It really depends. 
but I still think it helps me so much in until then that it's probably worth this is not worth it. I'm pretty sure it's worth it. Like just doubling the side. Is there another character that could use it? Probably not. That's the only problem. Is that it's pilgrim or nothing. Like even that's worth it already. Oh my god. This is a disaster. Holy shit. Oh, I need shield, so you can stick. You have to find shield, buddy. You found it. Okay. Only this. Oh my god, this gotta go. Poison on carrier, I guess. It's not too bad. That's not too bad. Yeah, Pilgrim saved me 2 HP already, which is good. That was worth it. Yeah, I, I think it's just more impactful on the fight. Whereas the added consistency is nice, but it doesn't increase my power level. Or it kind of does in a roundabout way, but it's not meaningful enough, I think. I mean, I, I might as well roll, right? All these are locks. So I don't see why I wouldn't roll. Well, I guess no, That that's not a lock. That's true. Unless I want the damage. So let's see. We can do... Poison's going on Warden. We can do... What's, what's hitting what? Herbalist. I guess the problem is they're both hitting like characters I don't really care that much about. I mean, it's still fine. I don't know. The self shield is buying me two HP here, and it's also like the case that I don't want to stun too many things. Well, I guess I wouldn't be able to, anyways. So it could stun, I guess it can stun carrier. That's a good argument for rolling. I'm okay with the damage though. I think the damage is fine. That's already worth it. Okay. Uh, wow. Yes. That's really good. Hmm. Trying to think if I want to cast this or not, but I think the answer is no. It is a bit unfortunate for Pilgrim though. Because he can't stun shit, but I mean it's already a lock, so. We're just gonna kill that. Whoops, gotta go here, kill this, save that, save that. Dead. Oh, it's looking pretty good. Bandana is one of my favorite items of the game for that character. Ooh, keep... Oh, wait, no, I can't. Ew! Alright, Wraith is not that bad, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wait, no, it's terrible because I can't roll it. Oh, yeah, it's really bad. Oh, it's really bad. Oh, shit, do I have to replace Pilgrim already? It feels so wrong. It, it feels so wrong, especially because this can't... But man, it's so broken. Like, this is so broken. Like a five steel shield heal and can also cantrip into this. The problem is that if I random and I hit, I mean, there's gotta be worse, right? The problem, okay. Is there anything worse than rate? I would argue which is worse. Actually, no. No, 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 no. Which is not worse. No, honestly, it's the worst. Okay. Uh, maybe fate is worse because I can't roll it. So sometimes I have to use these and then it becomes a bad character. Um, Randoming a yellow is okay, I think, for the most part. Except for eccentric. Yeah, everything except eccentric I'll take. And then randoming grays is... Oh god. Wait, but it's kind of okay. I think random and gray is okay. 
So the answer is probably random, un unless I actually think I should get rid of Pilgrim, which is probably not the case. I think Pilgrim has to stay. It will be pretty bad against the final boss, though, since I can't roll it too, too heavily. So it could... The argument is definitely there for Keeper. The argument is definitely there for Keeper. It also has good steel combos with the uh, yellows, potentially. Well, the problem is I'm not going to be able to roll, so I need, I need the most consistent team possible. And I have a feeling Pilgrim's got to be a part of that team. If not only for the Undying. Like, a lot of the sides are just good. The only sides that are going to be bad against the boss is going to be the stun side. But there are some reds that can improve the max HP of Pilgrim. The only issue is that I have to use the random here. But I think it's correct. Uh, I mean... Okay, that's not great, but... I think in this case, I will have to replace Pilgrim, though, because we have no shield. Yeah, eventually... Okay, so for now, we keep Pilgrim, but eventually it's gotta go. That is unfortunate. But... It's not too bad. Again, the revive is pretty key, I guess. It's not... It's gonna be useful. The revive's gonna be. I mean, it's not. It's not too bad, I guess. It didn't replace Pilgrim, but still. Uh, I don't know. It's fine. It's probably fine. Hopefully, I just gotta hope it's fine. I think it is. I, mean, I definitely had to, I gotta work on the ghost. Wait. Okay, that's poison. Definitely gotta work on the ghost here. Oh shit. Inflict exert. Oh no. Oh, I forgot this boss has this side. Holy shit, that's so hard. Mm, this boss is not easy, actually. This boss is not easy. At least it's okay. The only saving grace here is that it's not targeting Pilgrim, which means that I still have a good situation going. Where these will stun. Ah, please. No, it swapped. Really bad. Oh man, this is really bad actually. So much damage. Okay. Okay. So this is really bad. Mm. So much damage. I need so I need to kill a ghost. I need to kill a ghost. The only way to do that is with vampire. I think this has to, I mean, I really don't think I'm winning if I exert it by picking undying here. I gotta make sure that this kills a ghost, right? That blind is destroying me too. I, I can't let Valg die though. That's the bigger problem. So I guess I have to lock this. I have to hope that this rolls something, but most things are not good, actually. I guess the, the heal shield is probably good enough. Okay. So now I have one roll. Which I guess will probably go on Pilgrim. It rolls the stun. It's okay. I mean, I can't... The thing is, even if I roll this, it will not kill Go. So I probably just don't play that. Let me see. Well, no, because that, that's dead as hell still. I got a sun. I got to hit the sun, right? Even undying is better. Okay, everything's better. Everything's better, except for the replay, but... Okay. Good. Now I don't have to play anything. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect.
I can make the blind flee. That's insane. That's that's good. That's very good. That's very good. That is very very good actually. That I can get I can get a kill while stalling. All right, now here's the trouble. This is where things get problematic depending on where this goes. What happens? Self shield. Who has it? Okay. True damage. I need shit. This is bad. Okay, at least it's summoning. Um I need to I mean I guess I have to hold that, so Growth side is not it. Wait. I have to kill ghost, right? So I need mana. Okay, regen. I think this has to roll. I think this is the most likely to hit damage, right? Okay. Okay, so I can... Kill one of those. Did Valk have to play there? No, it didn't. Okay. No, I didn't. Oh yeah, fuck, it did. Shit. That's not good. That's really bad. I think I still have to heal Herbalist, because Valk is more in danger of dying than... Like, at least the heal's relevant here, whereas it's not otherwise. Oh, this is terrifying, because this is exerted. And then, oh man. Oh, hell no. Stick? Okay, Infuse is big here. I think the stick is not worth it. The stick is not worth it, so we can roll down. Anything's better than the stick. Even, I would argue even two damage is better, because it hits the ghost. That exert is going in a bad spot again. But I kind of, I gotta kill this ghost. This ghost is a huge problem. Oh man, the pilgrim cantrip screwing me over, but... Oh, I might be dead. Yeah, I might be dead here. I could see it. At least it didn't start. Okay, wait, this is interesting. Let me check this. So we got that, potentially this, potentially this, potentially this. This, 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 this. And don't play that. I think that's correct. Wait, can I afford to not play more? Yeah, I can afford to not play this either. What did this do? Oh, that had to hit. Okay, that's good, actually. I think that's good. Not exerted, not exerted. Oh, this is good. Okay, I'm, I'm very lucky there. That's very fortunate that Pilgrim actually rolled a side that couldn't cantrip. And somehow, Vampire is still holding us together. Still doing it. Still carrying. I guess nothing's better than self-shield at this point, so I guess it is what it is. Well, no, repeat is better. That's true. I do have Vine to... Yeah, repeat is better. Whatever. I mean, it's not a big deal, I think. Yeah. Okay, it's not exerting Pilgrim. I think we're good. I think we, we made it. We made it through. Pilgrim is still up. I think I'll have it pretty soon down. I'll probably just use this. I just pass with the other two and then... Damn it, it's just exerting nonsense. If I hit the 8, I guess that would be best case. I should roll for the 8, right? This does not matter. I guess self-shield kind of does, but no. I don't want the 8. Whatever. Please stop. Okay, actually I need mana now. Okay, good. Well, no, I can hit- I can hit for mana. 
Does this mean that the stun is the most relevant here? Probably, because I think I can actually get it down to a level where I can stun. That's good. It's acceptable, I think. Acceptable. What? This is a really hard run. I can't. I, this has been a nightmare through and through. But that's the price you have to pay for heavy dice. I really hate that curse. Infinite heal. Hmm. That's a really good idea, but. That could be really helpful, but it's very dependent on what I hit afterwards. Silver Pendant is pretty cool because it synergizes with the uh, Enchanted Shield, which means I could just uh, completely go ham on that. Also, Ghost Shield's pretty interesting. Blinding Bolt is really good. Also, no, it's not good. A lot of good stuff here, a lot of good stuff. So most of the, the problems come in where you look at these, and not many of them can actually use the AoE heal because they don't have a right side. Like this is okay. this would be okay, I guess. Yeah, this would be okay. But like every other character doesn't really use infinite heal that well because they don't have a right side. And I can't add a right side. I can, I can add this, but single use. I mean, it's not bad, but. So I'm pretty sure this is off the table. I'm looking at Ghost Shield or Sil Silver Pendant here. I think Silver Pendant is just better if I'm planning on putting both on the same character, which I think would be on Valkyrie. Yeah, it probably... I don't know, actually. Because Valkyrie does want Faint Halo and Bandana, I think, at some point. But it is also the character that I want to keep alive the most, so... Braids, copy left, side onto middle... Nope. Yeah. I only see silver or ghost shield, that's uh, an interesting one for sure. Although silver would have more synergy with... I think it's just silver, and then... Put it on a character, whatever that is. I'm going to get rid of Pilgrim for sure, because I have soup and I can't use it otherwise. I mean, I can, but it's not that good. Well, that's cool. Well, that's cool. I mean, you might as well lock, right? I guess you can try to roll... I mean, we're not... Uh-oh. Can you roll something useful, please? Sure. That's not my favorite thing ever, but... Oh my god, I'm so lucky Dragon Egg didn't roll. I did not even see it. It's relatively unfortunate, actually, but... At least Dragon Egg did I'm seeing a lot more Dragon Eggs. This is terrifying. I hate it. I despise it. I guess you can hold, and then... Self shield here. Kill, ignore, roll here. Self shield here, roll, kill. Accept. Oh, wait, was something targeting Valkyrie? I don't think it was. Yeah, Dragon Egg is behaving, which I like. I like when, when Dragon Egg behaves. That's really nice. Why am I even rolling this? What the hell am I doing? Oh, nice. Okay, I know why I'm rolling it now. I know why I'm rolling it now. Come on, Valk. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Hmm. 
Shit, I have Vine. <laughs> I forgot I have Vine. Blue Prince? Oh, the Brawler is a big one. Brawler has Steel. Brawler has Self Shield. Brawler has Rampage, which is really good. I don't see why I wouldn't take Brawler. It's one of the better yellows I can hit here. Outside of like Wander, which would be better, but it's a little bit too... Oh shit, I should have put the shield on Brawler. Fuck. Oops. Whoopsie. Uh, eh. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess if I get lucky, you know what? Screw this. I'm going for it. I was going for the two damage there, that would have been nasty, but... Whoops. That would have been dirty. I mean, that's pretty good, right? Yeah, Valkyrie is... I didn't even consider the synergy with Brawler, but it makes so much sense, right? To have an Undying on a character like this. I mean, I guess not always, but... Sometimes. It's done. Repeat. Okay. I like that. Do, do, do. Divine. Divine. You like zero damage, eh? Iron, oh, body, oh, shit. Oh, boots of speed. Oh, boots of speed. Boots of speed. Hmm. Man, that one extra roll could really go a long way. Tentacle also, oh man, there's so many things. I think it's probably objectively boots of speed. Oh my god, steel to middle. Holy shit, that's so good as well. Thimble's good. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't think it's botany. I think it's just too random. Like I, I can't I can't consistently hit it. It's probably boot it's just gotta be boots of speed, right? It's just so much more consistency. Who wants the speed? And to be honest, probably Valkyrie. That's yeah, probably Valkyrie. I don't, I don't know. That that four damage side is like cool, but do I care? Not really. Not really. No. Okay, you want this though? Pilgrim ten HP doesn't matter. Probably. All right. That one extra roll is massive. <laughs> it's it's so huge for heavy dice here. Oh, baby, a triple. Right, you gotta roll into something else, please. Thank you. And stun. Ali, roll. Okay, wait. I gotta roll you for sure. Okay. Do you roll now? Probably. I accept, I accept. Oh wait, can this save itself? No. Hmm. That makes me a little bit sad actually, but. Am I gonna waste 10 damage? I think the answer is probably no. Probably. Most likely answer is no. At least Valk's at one. Oh my god. What the hell? That's a lot of damage. Double stun. 
I'm dying. I mean, this is probably fine. I could probably keep this. I guess it could be a little bit better. I should roll Herbalist, right? If it rolls two mana, I'm so good. Or even one damage here. Okay, wow. That's great. That is fantastic. Wait, does it gain one health from saving itself? Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't have it. Okay. Well, I can roll Pilgrim, I guess. <laughs> this is... Why not? Hey, let's go. Nice done, Pilgrim. Congrats. Hope you enjoyed that. Here, stun yourself. Alright. I actually think Valko's a good pick, honestly. From a random... Well, not... I don't know. I don't know about good, but like... Reason like very reasonable, right? Like it's fine. Very reasonable. I've been like, it's funny because at the start of the game, Valkyrie was like the most broken character in the game for me, and then I thought it was trash, and now I actually think it's pretty good. Funny how that works, eh? I mean, what do you even want, Pilgrim? I guess you want repeat. Oh, okay. I like what you're cooking up here. Maybe it flees. I doubt it, but whatever. Unless it gets stunned. No, it doesn't. It flees. Nice. Oh no! Why are you? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Okay, now I just want to play... I want to play Pilgrim for the rest of the game, because this is crazy with stun, potentially. I mean, I don't know. I guess it depends. The lack of rolling is kind of kind of a problem, but the lack of, lack of rolls. Oh, shit. Oh my god, nice. Nasty. Nasty roll. I mean, this character is like, oh, nice. That's actually good. Aha. Uh -huh. I gotcha, Troll King. How do you like that? Eat that, Troll King. <laughs> this, is, this is why I love it. Like, Pilgrim Prophet is so funny. It's so strong. Like, it's kind of ridiculous how strong it is. What is it? Poison? The little poison? Hmm. Damn, that's a lot of damage. What the hell? Hmm. Wait, what happens if I do this? Well, I guess I would do this first, then this, then this. Hmm. I guess I can save it, but... I want the poison for sure. There's a risk reward concerning this. I mean, I guess I could. I should probably roll Valk, right? Yeah, I should roll Valk. Good job, Valkyrie. Good shit. Fantastic shit, my friend. Good job. Save yourself now. Oh my goodness, Valkyrie. As long as Pilgrim rolls stun, we're in a good spot. Otherwise, we are in a questionable position. Oh. Well, that's pretty insane. Wait a minute. Oh, I kind of forgot I had Vine again. Whoops. Whoopsie. My bad. Yep, 
Mistboy. But it's okay. We're very stable here, I think, at least for the time being. Stun, please. Stun, please. Stun, please. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Why is stun so good? Nobody knows. I mean, why is profit so good with stun? Nobody knows either. The mysteries. I have no damage though, holy shit. <laughs> Does damage exist in this build or? I gotta go for steel, right? For that, I guess. I mean, what do I even want from Valk? I think I should just roll for steel, right? Is there even a point in rolling Valkyrie at this point? No, it's not. I'm not gonna do anything. I'll just roll for steel. Oh. Well, I mean, I could also roll for blank, but I mean, that's a different... That's a different idea. Alright, Pilgrim. Get cracking. Start the stun train, my friend. I believe in you. Done. The repeat. Okay, repeat's fine, whatever. No, wait so close. Why is it so close? I'm kind of happy this guy didn't roll poison, but it's only one side, I guess. It's not that consistent. I don't know, I don't care, it's dead. I'm... I'm out of it. I don't know what's going on anymore. Probably fleas, right? Yep. <laughs> That's right, it fleas. Jesus, what the hell? Okay, there's gotta be something good here. I guess scorpion tail is consistent. Singularity. Iron Crown. Why is everything bad? Why is everything bad? What the fuck? I think I... I don't know. I guess Weaken is okay just because it's utility, but then I have to um, swap these out. Kind of awkward, but yeah, I don't, I don't like this. Uh, great sword's okay though, because maybe we lack damage. I just slap it on like, I don't know, it's not great. Wax seals okay. All, all identical sides get plus one, so like it's okay there. It's pretty relevant in most cases. I mean, it's it's fine here. I guess iron blood pendant is potentially like really broken, but again. The fact that we have Valkyrie turns off our steel combinations pretty hard, I feel like. I need something that scales, I think. But there is none of that, so. That's the issue here. Huh. I don't like this. I don't like this. Anything I move off of Brawler is probably bad, so if I want to play Wax Seal, I gotta... Like, what's better between Wax Seal and Scorpion Tail, I guess? That's the question. If we're facing the hand, then arguably Scorpion Tail is better. Because it stops the swords and it stops a lot of stuff. Like, I feel like it's probably Scorpion Tail just for utility. It's probably the most relevant boss 
thing. I don't think Wax Seal makes much of a difference against most bosses, except for maybe Inevitable, but... Even against Inevitable, Scorpion Tail is okay. But I would rather have Wax Seal, probably. Or Greatsword. I think Greatsword has potential, but it's also something that will most likely never activate. Because we don't have 6, right? Yeah, we don't have a 6. Singularity is random. Could be good, could be bad. It's probably not great. I don't think Iron World Pendant's that good. I, I think it's unfortunately just gotta be like... Just gotta be Scorpion Tail. Or random, but I think Scorpion Tail is good enough. I don't care about the weaken. I mean, I don't care about the... The pain. I'll just keep it in my back pocket for a potential boss fight where it's relevant. Mostly the hand. Where I just want to remove the poison and the stuff like that. Things of that nature. Should I roll Brawler? I think the answer is yes. Probably. Well, then again, what, what can it roll? I actually can't roll that much. I think I roll you for mana. Okay, that's better. Stop this, probably. This team comp is so slow, though. Holy shit. This is a night nightmare, like, duration. Nightmare match duration here. Alright, you gotta roll something, buddy. That's fine. Wait, is it fine? Actually, I don't think it is fine. No, it's not that good. But it's not terrible either. It's kind of okay. Yeah, it's kind of okay. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Mediocre at best, but... You know what, the repeat's useless. I'm gonna... I'm gonna roll. Roll for stun at least, right? Self shield's fine. Stun's good. Okay. Slow but steady, hopefully wins the race. That's all I can hope for at this point. I might as well, right? But why, why am I even rolling that though? There's no point. It's, it's a matter of time, but then it's just a matter of time. They'll flee eventually. That's my win condition, right? Fleeing. Funny win con, but... Actually a bit embarrassing that Valkyrie has nothing to do most of the time. But she is giving me plus one roll and undying, so... It's just not relevant in most fights except for boss fights, I think. I honestly think Pilgrim's gotta stay, but it's a it's a questionable one because we do have steel combos. So I don't think I actually don't think Pilgrim's supposed to stay. I think I just go. Yeah, it's not Pilgrim, but it's not Fate either. We're looking for Surgeon for their hand, right, or Doctor for cleanse. So it's probably okay to take Paladin. Actually, no, it's not okay to take Paladin. Is there a... Wait, I'm scared of Grays here. Stalwart's better. Okay, everything's better. Actually, everything's better. I just ran him here then. I think every red is better than Fate in this case. So, better... Okay, that's worse, but... Better. I mean, Cleanse, I guess it's better. I would say it's better. I don't know. It's like... This is bad, but... It does have revives, so I'll probably, I probably won't lose with two revives. 
But then again, I don't hate fate. I think it's it's okay. I just don't like the spell. I don't think the spell is going to be relevant at all. I think it's random. I don't. I do not want paladin because since we only have one roll, it won't roll shield consistently. But by that same token, it does also contribute to damage. So I actually don't. I don't hate it. It does make super relevant though, because I have to move Valkyrie. I have to move the cantrip to Valkyrie. Actually, soup is still like somewhat relevant. I think Paladin's okay. The damage contribution is probably pretty decent. And we have enough. I think it's fine. I mean, Stalwart would be way better though, right? This can't hold soup very well because of this. Although I could remove it. I mean, soup is just so busted on this character. <sighs> but it's like, do we, we don't need more shielding right now. We just need damage. So I'm I'm okay with Paladin. I think it, it is what it is. It's okay. And we have an invincible Valkyrie for the most part. You can soup up that thing and then... I'm okay with this. I think it's fine. Having some damage contribution, having the selection of a better character later down the line, I think is okay. And again, the, the four the four heavy is somewhat relevant. And I think that's good enough for me. I kind of need something else, but... Hmm. I mean, this is still a little bit scary. Without cantrip stun. I forgot how it feels to play without cantrip stun. <laughs> it is definitely not that easy. But hey. It's also not that bad. Hopefully. I don't know, that's probably fine, honestly. We should probably just do this, this, this. want to do this probably and then this this I think that is more than acceptable good stuff my damage output is so bad though it is a little bit problematic actually that my damage output is so trash but uh, that is what it is right oh come on Hmm. I feel like I want the bonk. Bonk? Never bonk. Okay, whatever. At this point, more damage is the most important to me. Most important thing to me. So we're just gonna do that. Ugh, why is my damage so bad? I only have one side that's actually good. Yeah, Paladin was the correct pickup for sure. Four. Two. Pick that up. I don't know, I wish I had the thing that saved the shield instead of the... Giving it to me every turn, which is... It, it, it depends on the scenario. I think it's actually kind of bad for this scenario because we don't have... We don't have damage, and that's our biggest problem. So in this case, I don't really want the shielding every turn. I just want something that stacks higher. Are you kidding me? I don't even think, well, honestly, what's the difference, right? What's the difference? At least it dies to three now. <laughs> God damn it. Please, Paladin, I need your damage. Yes. 
Damage? Okay. We made it. Dumbbell. Charged hammer. Okay. Speaking of damage, that would be fantastic. Okay, so yeah. I think it's just gotta be charged hammer. I don't I don't see a point. I don't like okay, eight heavy, cool. Okay, it's kinda cool. Okay, it is kinda cool. Alright, it is kinda cool. I could be convinced for the, the eight heavies instead of charge hammer, which is a single side that would have to replace a side from somebody else. I the only downside is that it removes some shielding, but Charge Hammer doesn't really do that much, I think, compared to just eight. Like, it's just going to be 10 damage, but it's only a single side. I mean, it might be, yeah, it's just time for Paladin's EPS, right? Emerald Mirror is definitely not any damage, so. I'm pretty sure eight heavy is just always fine. It's going to be good against... Let me think about positions where it's not as good. So it's probably good against the hand, right? It's probably better than charge hammer against the hand. Probably. It's more consistent. Like just more consistent is what I'm looking for. And I think this is the only thing I can bring it to the table. Yeah, it's just gotta be dumbbell. I don't, I don't see an argument for anything else. It also gives me some more shield, potentially, as well, so it's not even that bad. I think I have enough sustain. Like, you, you do want one of your four sustain units to be a uh, backup DPS, I think. I think that makes sense. Please. Okay. That is clean, but I'm still going to roll that, and I actually... No, I might. I need to roll this first. Okay, then I'll roll this because I want mana. Okay, growth is whatever. Get that son of a bitch out of here. I don't even think the demon's a problem here. It's probably the troll. The poison is just a pain. I don't want to deal with it. I don't care about demon. Poison is something I can't deal with very well. I mean, I can, but I don't have actual cleanse. I think we want 8 bonk here, right? Just roll for 8 bonk. 8 bonk. 8 bonk puts it to 4, so we need we need a little bit more here. Could roll for... No, wait, I have, I have it. Maybe I keep it. Acceptable, acceptable. I'm a little bit, maybe I'm underwhelmed a little bit by Brawler actually. Maybe it wasn't the best pickup. I think it's just, it's just solid. Like it's a good character. I don't necessarily know if it was the best pick for this specific scenario though. Because um, I feel like our DPS is still lacking quite a bit. I would have preferred something that hits even harder probably. Really, it's gotta be worth it. It's a lot of freaking poison. Oh my god. Minus one. I mean, I don't know. This is annoying, but whatever. This run is just long and, and it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. It's not over. It's gonna be long and hard. I don't even know if this is worth it. 
maybe I don't I don't know I guess I get an extra two point of damage maybe gonna die eventually although it is poisoned which sucks gotta get a bonk if I hit a bonk it's over the three is enough to kill that now we need a bonk no that is a bonk no stop showing me the wrong bonk Fuck! Oh, no. No, this is the worst case scenario. Ah, god damn it. Okay, it's, it's gotta be Shaman. I need the cleanse, but the problem is I don't, I don't know if I have the mana gen for this. I will lose the game to Inflict Exert, though. I will lose the game to that. So I think I need this, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be enough. I guess Valken pre-dodge, which is kind of good. We still have one cleanse available. Oh, this is like absolutely worst case scenario for sure. I can... Oh, I have weekend as well. That's not too bad. I don't see an opportunity to not take Shaman here. It's just got to be Shaman. I will lose the game without Cleanse. So that, that was um, one of the potential downsides of going for this. But it is what it is. Okay. At least we have Cleanse. Now the problem is can I generate enough mana? So what we need is uh, two turn, basically two turn mana, which is kind of annoying. And also, this weaken is potentially bad as well, to be honest. Yeah, probably. Because I need to chain Brawler. I need to chain the Wisps away, which is kind of the issue. This is a possibility, but... I don't know, that doesn't sound right. Who's the most likely one to be rolling? It's probably you, right? Maybe it is just this, and then... Yeah. The only good news is Valk should be able to... Well, no, it, it's not should be able to. It it can dodge, but it's not consistent. It's not looking good. I'm going to be honest. I might... I might take... I might use this. Like, sure, it screws over the shield, but... It depends. It really depends. Like, the weaken... Could be relevant because I mean it could be relevant. It could also just not be relevant though. Most of the time I would say it's not relevant. Until it's hitting Inflict Exert on three, and then I I would want to weaken it. But I don't really have the sustain. I don't actually have that much sustain, I think. So I probably just can't take this. I w this was not for this fight, either way. This was for, like, Hexia or, like, the Hand or Dragon, even. This was the only fight where I have pretty much no tools except for Shaman, which is unfortunate, but... I don't see anything. I do not think it's worth playing this. This fight is all about me, dr me getting the mana. If I get the mana... I think we're okay. It depends on what it starts with. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, that's very lucky. Now I need Brawler to actually hit the side that I want it to. Also, that's fine. Please. I mean, I guess it's probably better than most things. What can you roll? Nothing. You can roll. I should maybe roll for mana, to be honest. Yeah, I should maybe roll for mana. I mean, it depends what this rolls, right? No, I gotta roll this. That's good, actually. Oh, we get some mana with the wisps. That's true. So that's bonked. That's dead. That is also... Pain... Pain Paladin. I actually can't deal with that, I think. I mean, I can, but I also don't want to.
No, it's gotta be top and bottom, right? Those are the most important characters to protect, because we can... It's a little bit scary, but we still have access to Rampage in our back pocket, so hopefully... That's really good. Oh, I'm getting lucky. I had to get lucky, I think, to some extent, right? The mana's huge. I need... I need you to roll mana. Okay, good. You can roll nothing. Are we good here? Or does this bonk? Low-key it bonks, right? No, maybe not, because it's not actually... It's passing the threshold, but it's not actually doing that much, because this is going to heal back up. Okay, it's not worth it. So, you probably roll for shield then. Great. Okay, that's fantastic. Okay. Hmm. This is like a little bit unfortunate, but it's not that bad. Pain on shaman's okay. Ah, uh, it's so hard. This is this is by far the hardest fight I could have faced, but oh shit, there we go. Here we go. Now I need the mana. Mana. That's lucky actually. Finding the mana from there is massive. I guess I probably just have to look for cleanse. Wait, you need mana, right? Yeah, I gotta roll. I gotta roll for mana at this point. It's the most relevant thing. Good. Very, very clutch. Okay. Problem is, this is a worthless side, but it's setting up for something, I guess. Okay, having the Inflict Exert nullified is massive. But we're still in a bad spot because I don't have any healing. Okay, that's good. I think we're... I, I don't see myself winning this. I, I really don't. I, I'm having a hard time seeing how the hell I can win this. But I guess we'll find out. I think this bonk probably should happen. I don't know what to do with you, though. I feel like I should roll for mana somewhere. Maybe Shaman? I think Shaman should roll... Well, okay, well, first I would have to roll Rampage in the first place, so... But either way, I should roll this. If it hits Rampage, it's better. Okay, now... Now... I think I roll for mana just to get double Rampage... I don't know if that's worth it, actually. I, mean, I guess this can roll four as well, which is also better. I think, I think I do roll shaman then. It, can, it has a few sides that are better. There's the mana. Okay. I don't know if Valk actually wants to roll or not. Probably not, because if it's undying, it will cut off my profit. Let me see what happens here. So we got one, two, three, four, bonk, two, two, one off that, but yeah, the dodge doesn't actually do that much. All of them don't do that much. All I know is Valkyrie has to survive, and then if Valkyrie survives, we're in an okay position. I think this having pain is annoying, but I don't see a way out of that. At least it can still shield. Okay, that's good. I think, I don't know, when does it become bad? <laughs> it seems like it should be bad at this point, honestly, but I'm not sure. Rampage. Okay. Probably a keep.
I think the three heals more relevant. I gotta make sure. No, Valk is safe. I think it's probably top and bottom that are most threatened. Good news is I have three mana up, which means that if this does go into Exert, I could win. But I mean, at this point, I kind of need it to stop doing this, actually. No, actually, no, it's fine. No, no, it's actually fine. It's actually fine. Okay, that's good because I can just use that for free. That's actually that's a really good side. I would look for no. I don't need Bonk here. I just go for the heal. But I do want. I do want to kill this. So maybe I just keep everything. Sure, I can get an extra two damage, but it's irrelevant. Oops. We should go here probably. I gotta keep the cleanse up for sure. I don't know Valkyrie like. If, if it rolls, it has, it's got to stop rolling. That. Okay, that's good. Now, Valkyrie has to roll. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And now we can start going for damage, which I will I will do here. And we, we found more mana, which is perfect. That's damage. Okay, now you roll. Okay, this is actually looking like pretty decent for some reason. Shaman is the ultimate carry against Inevitable. For the most part. No, that's the worst. Don't do that. Hmm, acceptable, I guess. Okay, cleanse. Healed, undying. Probably just heal somebody else. Eight, three. Accept. It's all in Val. It's basically Valkyrie. It's Valkyrie carry in this fight and Shaman. Both, both, both are carrying. Mana's good. Now I need, I absolutely need this to roll undying though, because otherwise we cannot survive this. Wow. Oh my God, Valkyrie is just crushing it. This is beautiful. I've never seen a Valkyrie this powerful. And Shaman, honestly, pretty impressive stuff. That 10 heal is nasty here, really is. This is beautiful, actually. I, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed by this team. I can't believe we made it this far, but here we are. So, Bonk is lethal, and that's what I'm going to do. I'll look for it. Got three rolls. Wow. Honestly, that was a good run. That was a very slow run. But we just had like the bandana pickup was just fantastic and, and actually landing on Valkyrie was a really good was a really good outcome in hindsight, right? Because any other shielder would have would have lost me the game against Inevitable 100 percent This was probably the only unit in the entire game that could do what it did against Inevitable. But then again, it had to be combined like it was not good enough alone. I also had to get lucky and find Shaman on the final on the exact final like this had to be my last character to upgrade on floor 20 so i can see what the boss is and then find shaman exactly at the timing um i'm trying to think if i made any mistakes I, well one thing's for sure my paladin pick was 100 correct and my dumbbell pick was 100 correct in hindsight so i'm very happy about that i i correctly found the answer that i was looking for in defense i'm not used to playing defensive so it took me like a minute to realized that this would be as good as it as it ended up being brawler brawler was okay right it's just the problem with brawler with no other damage sources is much worse than it would be otherwise because the rampage is a lot harder to set up so the problem was more so that i just i'm too used to playing this character when you have like so much different you have so many different sources of damage that setting up the rampage is so free like you have you know other damage dealers that are yellow or orange right it makes the setup for this a lot easier, especially in the inevitable fight. I'm not used to actually struggling to kill stuff. And that was the case here where Brawler was mostly like a three damage character, sometimes busting out like a, a six maybe, and sometimes killing like multiple, like maybe two or three maximum. So like six damage maximum on the, on the rampage ended up being good enough, but not quite as impressive as something maybe like a, like a barbarian or I don't know, something that has like 
overall higher damage output, like a Wanderer would have been better. Maybe, okay, not a Bash. I would have lost the game with a Bash. Okay, Veteran probably would have been worse as well. So this is better. Curator, I think, would have been better because the arrow side as well, yeah. This would have been way worse. Okay, so not that many. Actually, it, it's definitely like upper tier for defensive to find Brawler just because the seal side's there and it is still good utility, but like, eh. Curator's better, Barb is better, and Wander is better, but I think every other character is not better. Yeah, I would say, especially considering heavy dice that makes eccentric much much worse but i'm very happy about that run and that makes 40 as well pretty cool by the way thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel um it really helps out we're almost at a thousand which would be cool so i can get monetized that would be awesome also looking forward to slice and dice like being updated which is gonna happen eventually i know the dev has been posting about some stuff he's been working on over on the discord server but uh, yeah, other than that, uh, check out my Wild Frost videos if you're into that. That would be cool because uh, so far they've been doing pretty bad. Which has been a bit disappointing because I do love the game. But either way, that's okay. Don't force yourself to watch it, obviously. But if you are interested, definitely check them out. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.